Hello, friends, and welcome back to another podcast of Women at the Well Ministries, where we believe that all of us have to come to Jesus like the woman at the well in John chapter 4. Our highest priority is making God real in your life. Whether you are listening in our app, in your favorite podcasting app, or on our website at watwm.org, we invite you to sit down with us as we look to the scriptures to learn more about God and to strengthen your daily walk with Jesus Christ. Living her life for Christ, she's a happy girl. In this episode of the Woman at the Well Ministries podcast, join Kim Miller and Erica Close in a conversation as we walk with Jesus. In today's conversation, we continue a series on the book of Proverbs, and in today's podcast, we're discussing the lessons learned in Proverbs chapter 8. Hello, everyone. My name is Erica Close, and I'm here with Kimberly Miller. Hello, and thank you for joining us in this podcast of Woman at the Well Ministries. And today, we are going to unfold the truths found in Proverbs chapter 8. And its basic tenets are the excellency and eternity of wisdom. I will begin reading them, and Erica will pick up the second half. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way. And the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness and in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, and there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, There I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. 
But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his soul. All they that hate me love death. This is a really, really neat proverb. It absolutely is. And I love it that he tells us that to find it young, to find wisdom young. But it's never too late. And God gives wisdom to those who ask for it. He gives it to them liberally. And he talks about wisdom's call in the very beginning. Wisdom is always calling after us. I feel like when I think of wisdom as one who is calling, I think of how I believe that the Holy Spirit is constantly calling to us and calling out to us to ensure that we are going down the right path. But wisdom is calling all the time. Amen. And it talks about wisdom when it calls, it's speaking the right thing. As you were saying, it's telling us to do the right thing. It's giving you the direction you should go. And so when we seek after wisdom, and we hear him say in in chapter 9, which we're not there yet, but he says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And so what we know is that If you want to be wise, you need to have fellowship with the Lord. And so the very beginning of wisdom is understanding your need for for the Lord in your life. Absolutely. I think that that's one of the things that I really appreciate is the same way that the Lord has a call upon our lives. And if we're not saved, that call is that we would be saved. But He is literally calling to us all the time. You know, that we read in Revelation, behold, I stand at the door and knock. You know, there there is a constant knock, a constant call of the Lord that is coming after us and trying to have us as his child and for him to be our savior. And in the same way, wisdom is always calling, asking us to follow, asking us to understand, asking us to seek after the truth that is given to us, right? Everything that the wisdom gives us, everything God's word gives us is truth. It grows us in righteousness. There's nothing perverse in it. And all of those that receive wisdom and receive the Lord's instruction receive so much more than anything else the world could give. I love verse 10, receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. And 11, for wisdom is better than rubies. And what I love also about that is when you understand that wisdom is always calling you and that wisdom begins by understanding who Jesus is and having a relationship with him, what you see is the things that are precious to the world, like silver and gold and rubies and fine gemstones, they can't compare to the wisdom that the Lord gives. And so don't place your trust and your faith in silver and gold, in wealth, in worldly possessions, but instead place your faith in Jesus Christ, who then gives you the greatest of all, which is wisdom, so that then you have through him all that you need and the strength to do all that you're asked to do. One of the things that I really appreciate in this proverb is starting around in verse 14, where wisdom says that wisdom is understanding and there's strength in wisdom, right? As we get to know Christ better and we gain his wisdom, we gain strength. And this same wisdom, right, the wisdom that we have that walks us through our days is the same wisdom that 2,000 years ago led a king. It's the same wisdom that ruled nations, right? It's the same wisdom that led the the judges in, in Israel in the Old Testament. But all of that becomes very personal in verse 17, where we read, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. And I feel like right there, we're not just talking about wisdom. This is about seeking after the Lord. Because he says he is the Lord. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy in the evil way. And he doesn't want these, you know, arrogant mouths that are spreading discourse. That's all in verse 13. And then he says, I love them that love me. So loving him is following after him 
And again, wisdom was with him in the days of old, in the works of old, we're told in 22. And so when we're talking about wisdom, he is telling you, I give you wisdom and the wisdom I give you reveals to you to love me, to trust me, to place your faith in me and to abandon the things of the world and to follow after me so that others will understand who I am. Wisdom sets you apart because wisdom is given of God and godly wisdom is priceless. And knowledge is knowing something. Wisdom is understanding how to use what you know. I love that you said that it's priceless because there are verses in this proverb that compare the fruit of wisdom to things that have a price, right? Like gold and silver. That There are very sort of monetary words that are used in this proverb, like revenue, revenue, and in verse 21, an inheritance, right? But what we gain from wisdom is so much greater than worldly gain. But verse 21 says that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. He gives us what we need and fills us up and he causes us, causes us to inherit what we need. And he tells us to lay up treasures in heaven where moth and rust doth not corrupt. And he tells us that out of the abundance of the heart to mouth speaketh. So when we speak wisdom, our heart isn't aligned with what God wants it to be. As we move into the next part of this proverb and we get around verse 22, one of the things that I love so much is that it talks about how the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways before his works of old, right? The wisdom that we have is the same wisdom that God had. And then this whole proverb goes on and talks about how the wisdom that God gives us, the wisdom that God had is the same wisdom that God had with him when he created the earth. And the creation, whole creation story is like written right here, right? Everything that the Lord did, the wisdom of God was with him in the creation. So when we look at all that the Lord did in creating our earth, and creating us that same wisdom of understanding and order and putting things together the way they're supposed to be put to go- order together, we're given that same wisdom. And in verse 32, now therefore hearken unto me, so listen to me and keep the Lord's ways. All that same wisdom that God used when he built this whole planet is freely available to us. We just have to hearken unto him to have it. And he tells us that we are to hear instruction and to be wise. Don't refuse instruction. Don't be a know-it-all. But he says, if we ask, we shall receive. If we seek, we shall find. If we knock, it shall be opened unto us. He explains to us that we call unto him, he'll answer us. And we need to be seeking him. He says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. We must learn to hear instruction and to seek it and don't refuse it and heareth, hear what it has to say. I love that in 34, we read too, that blesses the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates. We need to we need to be coming after the Lord and seeking his wisdom every day, right? It's not an infusion. It's not something that we get in one shot because when we do that, when we wait at God's doors, when we watch daily at his gates and look for him daily, we get verse 35. For whosoever findeth me findeth life and shall obtain the favor of the Lord. We want the life that God gives us. We want the favor of the Lord. We want to love the Lord, and we want to have every blessing that he could ever give us. It is absolutely amazing to me to know that that same wisdom that created all that we could ever see is the same wisdom that is available to me to live this life. That is a gift, a priceless, priceless gift available to all. And he's so clear 
about what wisdom is that he says it twice. In Proverbs 1 7, he says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And in Proverbs 9 verse 10, he says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Wisdom begins with having a clear understanding of who God is. Absolutely. Well, we hope that you have enjoyed walking through Proverbs chapter eight with us. I know that we have enjoyed it. And I know we're taking some time in each of these Proverbs, but that's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to spend time in his word and spend time with him. We hope that you join us at your next available opportunity. But most importantly, we hope that you know that Jesus loves you and that you are loved. Thank you for joining us in today's podcast. You can visit the show notes for quotes from today's podcast and scripture references. We pray today has been a blessing and we encourage you to reach out to us through our app, our website, or our Facebook page. You can find our app by searching for Woman at the Well Ministries in your app store or through our website at watwm.org. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash watwm. If you visit our website, you'll be able to subscribe to Bible Bits, a daily devotion written by Kim and delivered Monday through Friday by text message. Woman at the Well Ministries is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving our Heavenly Father. And it is through your loving and generous support that our ministry continues to bless others. To learn how to partner with Woman at the Well Ministries, please visit our website. Thank you to the gospel group Fudge Creek for letting us use their hit song, Happy Girl. We greatly appreciate your prayers. We are praying daily for our listeners. Remember that God loves you. You are loved. Happy girl.